rate to the only thing I've gained catalogs is this, this is stuff up there. And I can make the police department because they're doing things with, without having the money or they have any other resources available to them that they utilize. It's just great because it's not on our back. I would like to schedule with you uh, a tour of the. I, I also heard that you clean up the jail and the jails has been all that. I'd like to get a tour of the jail. Is that possible? Yes, it is. Thanks. Also, um, that I knew my uh, chair of personnel would have quite a few questions, and I brought him in there. I also want to say that uh, back not too long ago, our uh, Mr. Will was on TV. Is it I? Is it I? D. I, I watch. <laughs> that was a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> he was on there, and they focused in on. But like I said before, uh, oh, and I, I got one question. The there, what is up in Forest Hill? The gas was cut off up in Forest Hill. Is there a mini station up there? What is that? If you're dealing with the gas issue, that's something we have to ask the service department. No, it's your your area that keeps your. I was just told that um, something that you all uh, keep up there, your your <coughs> what was it, Miss uh, Hemmings? He said. No, I thought it was gas. It was the generator. Yeah, the generator up there. You got a generator running to to keep something warm, and the gas was cut off in that area. Huh. What is that? That's where our, our radio Quit communications go through. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't know. I thought it was a mini station or something. No, no. It's a, a tower that transmits, connects all our radios. Okay. So what what does that mean if we don't have that? We can't talk to each other. <laughs> so, that, that, so if you can't talk to each other, does that, that put you in jeopardy up there? Not only up there, that puts you in jeopardy anywhere. Anywhere. But right. it's functional now or no? Yes. yes. It's, it's patchwork. It's just, so they just cut the gas off. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's back on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now, if my, um, like I said, I'm very sensitive to the safety of our residents as well as our uh, safety forces. Uh, uh, Mr. Wilcox, I just had one more question. Do we have, um, we got this truck that we got from another area? Uh, are you talking about the ambulance or are you talking about the ladder truck? I saw a ladder truck go down my street the other day. Okay, that would be that'd be the donated truck from Oakwood. Okay. okay, so what about the ambulance? We got a donated ambulance from Shaker Heights and you. Okay, so we got them today. Well, the, well, the Shaker Heights squad is broken now, <laughs> so so now we got the Euclid squad donated. So so we have two squads right now. Okay, so, so <coughs> reaching in to help us a little bit. Yes. Okay, so uh, if it's all right, for, uh, if I make the recommendation to the council that we table this until our next uh, council meeting so that we can come up and have a meeting, I'll have a meeting or we'll have a meeting with uh, the finance director, the law director, and um, I guess somebody from um, um, the commission. I mean, from the uh, auditor, so that we can get some documentation and come back here and give you something. But I know that I do have the money for the test. Okay, that's there. So if you all will, we can carve that out right now, or if you want to wait for all of it next week, you know. Yeah, you can know who's there. Right now, it's going to take a while to take the test. So if we, if you, if you dealing with the, the, it takes a process for the um, civil service test to be put together and all of that good stuff. So I really don't want to hold up anything if I can carve out something. So well, is it all? Uh, Okay. All right, with the uh, council. Can we wait to make sure we got money? Um, we I know we got money for the test, but to make sure that 
the part-time situation has come up, that the money's there, we'll know that next week, right? Yeah, but this is, this we is have the money. The this is test. just the test. And the test is $2,100. That's all. So do we want to, um, do I have a um, motion? That I move that, that we, uh, what's it, $2,100, $2,100 for, was it civil service exam? Yeah. Okay, I move that we act on twenty one twenty one. Just in your favor. Just, just I, I favor. Agree. I agree. Okay. Okay, that is. That's it's consensus. Yeah. So, uh, fellas, <coughs> that's all I can do for you right now. But that's movement. That's progress. Smile. <laughs> 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 we'll, we'll, we'll be <laughs> so, so we need to know for the next two days that the finance director will have, he'll be present on the next something I'm for us. Set up a meeting for that. Wait a minute. So next Tuesday we we'll need mm -hmm. right? So either the finance director will be present or he'll provide us. No, he's going to be present. He's gonna be present. But he'll and then he'll have the numbers on yeah. how it's gonna impact oh, yes. the budget. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Is he gonna be uh, speaking of uh, him being president? Or is anything gonna involve around the financial recovery plan? Okay, I have to give a report on that. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going back up to um, the financial plan. To the finance. Yes. That's yours. Okay, let's see. I've got all these numbers and good things going. And you want I some to pass out to us? No, this is just my report. Just that. Okay. I think you got all this. Everybody get all these things? Mm -hmm. She sends them to you on. Okay, just go, go ahead. Okay. Just, just move on. I asked her to um, put together a, um, a, a sort of a cheat sheet for me. The monthly financial financial revenues is nine hundred and thirty-three thousand. The salaries bi weekly two hundred and three thousand equate now to four hundred and ten thousand every two weeks. Okay? Health care claims not paid to the date. Medical claims, TPA audit, uh, four hundred and thirty-seven thousand. $368.31. We have not paid um, the health care claims since November. Also, so we paid November, we're going to pay December and January. That's right. So you said that the, the, the payroll was how much every two weeks? 400 No, two weeks. Two or three. Two hundred Every two weeks? Mm -hmm. So the total would be what? 410000 um, bi-weekly. Okay? No. I mean monthly, no. I'm no. sorry. Monthly, monthly. monthly. approximately 500000 so It's 203000 Every two weeks. Every two and weeks. still paying okay. some um, people that um, separated. They're still paying some conferences. Okay, what, what the um, clerk is saying, that we have not the ability to pay the individuals that have separated, like, um, the law director, the assistant law director, and we're still paying uh, Mr. Zook, who was the chief of, um, of the um, fire. fire, because we can't give them a total amount that they're entitled to upon separation. <laughs> and when it equates out, if we got four policemen that have left that Four policemen equates out to a hundred thousand dollars in separation. Okay. But one of the key things you had in your report, Council President, is we haven't paid the medical for that's a couple true. Of months. That's okay. true. Right. And when we gave up the, um, that's why when we gave up that twenty-eight thousand from our budget, it was because we were giving it so that they could meet the um, medical uh, bills. But we have not paid that. We still owe Kaiser. Um, we have not, we got a budget, a temporary budget, which uh, we did 
for one month, which was an error from the um, the auditor's prospect. Okay, and I um, this is dated January fifteenth to Mayor Norton and Director Jack Johnson. This is from me, mm -hmm. Mayor Norton. As of today, January 15, 2015, we are at the halfway mark of the 30-day appropriations. Budget Council passed on December 18, 2014, in the form of Resolution 6414. At that time, Council was made aware that the administration needed to make an additional 500000 in cuts to the budget. To date, Council has not received an amended 2015 budget. I am requesting that this be sent to us ASAP. It is also understood that the city must update their <coughs> financial recovery plan to reflect the new 2015 budget and additional proposed ways to curb spending or cuts. Please submit this to Council as well. It's imperative that above items are addressed immediately and sent to the council office with proper legislation. Council cannot act on the above mentioned items until admission administration submit them. I thank you for your continued um, cooperation. I want you all to know that in my council, I'm reading this because these are the uh, procedures that I follow to uh, get the mayor's attention and let him know that we are still looking for basically uh, the information so that we can do the uh, budget. I had discovered that ordinance 60, 6414 should have been for two months time frame and unfortunately through miscommunications, it was only drafted for one month time frame. I took it upon myself to request that the law department draft new legislation to amend Ordinance 6414. In order for the city to be in compliance with the intent of administration, being able to continue to spend appropriations beyond January 31st, 2015, as per Ordinance 6414, even though the funds are accounted for as a two-month budget in the attachment, we must make sure the end date in the legislation states that the administration has the authority to spend funds through including February 28th. That is why we are now, we now have ordinance 0615 that reflects new dates of January 1, 2015 through February 28th. Is everybody following? Everybody understand? Okay. Um, as far as Director Hemmings, as a follow-up to our conversation earlier, I have attached a temporary appropriation legislation ordinance number 6414 <coughs> that was passed in December 2014 by council. It was discovered by Council President Thomas yesterday that this legislation should have been for a two month budget and it was only written for a one month appropriation budget for the city. In order for the city to be in compliance with the intent of being able to continue to spend appropriation beyond January 31st, 2015, even though the funds are accounted for in attachment, we must make sure the end date in the legislation states that the administration has the authority to spend funds through the including February 28th. I have made corrections for your purview. Please be advised. Council President, got a question. Yeah. If we're going to cover to the 28th, what happens between uh, the, uh, the beginning of March and the end of March? That's up to the administration. Okay. The administration, that's what we're asking for right <coughs> now. The administration has not sent us any appropriations. Mm -hmm. Okay. The administration, if, if we don't have a balanced budget, 